The next thing we need to look at when we create our construction drawings is layers. Now at the moment I'm in the view tab from the previous video, so we go to the home tab on the ribbon. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work with some basic layers in preparation for our title block. That's not the exhaustive list of layers either. You can add as many layers as you want to a drawing as you go on the fly. You can have a set of given layers in a template and build on those within a project, within any construction project. So as you can see, the name at the top of the drawing there is layers underscore complete. That will be the completed drawing in your working files. If you want to follow along with the video, you're going to be looking for layers.dwg. So at the moment, in our home tab on the ribbon, we're going to go to our layers panel and click here on this icon here, layer properties. That will actually bring up the layer properties manager. Now you'll notice it takes quite a while to do that. Sometimes it does, especially on newer drawings. The reason being is it's setting up the drawing database in the background. This is all Microsoft.NET database within the layer properties manager palette. Now I can drag this around, I can move it around, I can dock it if I want to. I don't have a lot of screen real estate though. If I had a nice dual screen set up, I could perhaps have my layer properties manager on one screen and my AutoCAD drawing area on another screen. You can see at the moment though, all we have is the default layer zero. We need to create some new basic layers that we're going to use to create our title block in the next section of this course. So creating new layers is very easy and you always do it through the layer properties manager. So we click over here on new layer and you'll see there that I'm prompted for a default layer name of layer one. Now we're not gonna worry about the properties of the layers just yet. We'll go and do that in a moment. It's a really neat little trick when you're creating layer names in AutoCAD in the layer properties manager. First layer we're going to need is title block. Nice and easy. Make sure you spell it right. Now I use a combination of upper and lower case on my layer names. Some people like to use uppercase, some people like to use just lowercase. It's up to you. Whatever works for you, whatever works within your project, you might have a project requirement for uppercase, for example. Now, don't press enter. Press the comma key. Automatically gives you another default layer. So the next layer I'm going to need is title text. Like so. Again, press the comma key. And the next layer I'm going to need is viewports. We're going to need to set up some viewports in our construction drawings, like so. And again, press the comma key. So you can see how you can build things up very, very quickly and very easily. Do it in vertical lists, though. Don't try and work across. I've worked with AutoCAD now for 25 years. The quickest way to do this is vertically in lists. Trust me, been there, done it, and got the t-shirt. Now we're gonna put some other simple layers in there. We're gonna put text in there, like so, and again, press the comma key. Dimensions, I often shorten dimensions just to dims, like that, again, up to you. And one more we're going to put in there is going to be hidden. We need our hidden detail, like so. And again, comma key. And the last one will be any center lines that we need. Now I'm going to spell center the English way. If you're American, spell it that way. Up to you, again, personal preference. Personally, I'm English, so that's the way I spell center for center lines. Now once you're done with that list, just press enter, like so. And you'll see that the layers are then set in your list. Now the problem we have is they're all the same color and they're all the same line type. So we need to change some colors there. Now title text and title block are gonna be the same. So I click on one of them, like so. It brings up the color dialog box and the color tabs like so. So I'm gonna use the index colors and I'm going to use color 30. Now I can put that in there in the box at the bottom and click on okay. That's color 30. I want title block to be the same. So again, I just type the number of the color in there. Now, the center lines, I'm gonna want those to be a different color. So I'm gonna click there on that color, and I'm gonna make that cyan, that color there. Now you'll notice it gives it a name. These colors here have names, because they're the original AutoCAD colors from way back, and they just had names. They didn't have numbers, but as AutoCAD progressed, and as Windows progressed, and we got more colors, we obviously had to number them. So we're gonna make that cyan, like so, so my center lines will be cyan. My hidden lines are going to be green. 
I'm going to select that green there. And then dims and text, I always make red. Just personal preference. Like so. So we're just changing the colours very quickly, very easily. Two clicks each time. And then viewports, we're going to make those blue. Like that. Now, you don't have to use those colours. They are my personal preference. I'm just recommending it. But if you want to use those colours, they're the ones that are going to be saved in the Layers Complete drawing. If you're following using the layers.dwg drawing, you can obviously change the colours as you go. Now, we're just going to quickly change some line types. We want our centre layer here to have a different line type. We don't want it to be continuous. We actually want it to be a centre line type. So if I click on continuous there, I can go and load up a new line type. Now, at the moment, in the line type manager, I only have continuous. But if I click on load, that actually loads up the line types available in AutoCAD. And if I scroll down the list here using the slider bar, you can see I've got center, center 2, and center X2. Select center, like so, and click on OK. That adds that to the line type manager. I select it again. I click on OK. And you can see my center layer now has a center line type. Do the same for hidden as well. Click on the word continuous after selecting the layer in the list. And again, click on load in the select line type dialog box. Scroll down the list and you'll see that we've got some hidden line types we can use as well. We've got hidden, hidden 2, and hidden x2, just like the center line type. You can see there that hidden 2, the dashes and the spaces are half the size, and hidden x2, the dashes and the spaces are twice the size. Just go for the regular hidden. That's fine for what we need. Click on OK. And again, select it in the Select Line Type dialog box and click on OK. And it adds that to the Layer Properties Manager. So you can see now that our hidden layer has a hidden line type and our center layer also has a center line type. What we're going to do now is close the Layer Properties Manager by clicking on the cross at the top here. We're then going to go to our Layer pull down in the Layers panel. There's our layers there. We're going to select title block and make it the current drafting layer. That's in preparation for the next section of this course where we're going to start building up our title block ready to start creating our construction drawings. What you would do there as well now is you'd go up to save and save the current drawing to make sure that all those layers are now saved in your drawing ready for the next step.